It was January 12th when Naroshan Vivekananda Raja says he was contacted by a prospective client who found him on Google. They were looking to finalize the sale of their home, a pretty standard transaction on the surface, anything but in reality. They were perfect clients. They were, they were on point, very good communication, bang, 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 got the documents, no delays, signing happened on our time, done. The sale went through. By all accounts, it was shaping up to be a standard transaction. That changed when Naroshan Vivekananda Raja got a call from the bank. The bank manager, she's like, just so you know, this is a very new account. And I'm like, by new, I'm like, it happens. A lot of our clients do open new accounts for investment reasons or tax purposes or wh whichever. So we're like, okay, it's just another new account kind of situation. But she's like, no, no, no. This is so new that you're the only transaction. He says his client's ID was also flagged as a potential fake. Instead of giving the bank the go-ahead to release the funds, he says his associate instructed them to freeze the account. So do you know if your mom maybe forgot to take okay. her ID with her? Uh, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. He went to the Scarborough neighborhood the home was located in and began asking questions. The mailbox was packed overflowing out of the mailbox. Oh, that's not a good sign. The glass screen door was locked, so Vivekananda Raja spoke with nearby residents. One of them noticed him through her doorbell camera. And she's like, hey, hey, who are you? And she's kind of a little aggressive, like, why are you here? Why are you at my house? I'm like, ma'am, uh, I'm a lawyer. I just really need to speak to you. He left his business card with her, and sure enough, she called. I'm selling this house. She's like, oh, no, no, what do you mean selling this house? The neighbor's in China. And I'm like, oh, she's like, I even have the keys to the house. Vivekananda Raja says he contacted the bank, which then contacted police. On January 27th, Toronto police confirmed three people had been arrested and charged in connection to a title fraud investigation. According to the officer, it was an actual ministry issue. So the driver's license was real slash fake. Real estate management professor Murtaza Haider says in order to come up with convincing fakes, fraudsters first need to access your personal information. Let's say they got hold of a uh, driver license renewal email or um, um, some mail from Canada Revenue Agency. If you move, he recommends purchasing mail forwarding and extending that service beyond a year. In the end, Vivekananda Raja says the actual owner of the home was able to regain their title. The home buyers got their money back. It was pure intuition, pure intuition, my team. Now, at the end of our interview, I asked Naroshan Vivekananda Raja whether there were any key takeaways from his whole experience. And he says that while he doesn't condone what happened, he was impressed by the quality of the fabricated IDs. He says he can understand why so many of these transactions go through because the work that goes into them is so sophisticated.